Hello, I'm Jake, the DM for Venture Ventures Descent into Avernus. Uh, episode 25 is going to begin here in a second, uh, but before we get going, uh, let me do a little recap and also make sure my audio is working. I think it is. Uh, last time, the gang's trying to find the Sword of Zeriel. And uh, they've been running around a little bit trying to find leads on it from a mildly helpful holophant sending them uh, various places based on a faulty memory uh, or memories. And uh, they decided to go to a place called the Demon Zapper and uh, were promptly greeted by a Goristro being zapped by the demon zapper, uh, which then turned its attention towards the group in their, uh, in their infernal machine, did a hefty amount of damage to that thing, uh, in one strike and proceeded to get killed by the group. And, uh, the group was greeted by, a Dao, which rose out of the ground at the base of the Demon Zapper Tower. Uh, and that's where we left off. Looking up now that the... Uh, let me check. Yes, Jarvis says about audio. Thank God. Looking up now at the tower, you see a semi-transparent globe and uh within the globe a little bit like the uh lord of the rings eye of sauron type of thing but it's not an eye in the globe you see a horse with a horn out of the middle of its head just kind of resting um seemingly nice you you were right on top of that uh seemingly resting and the the beam of of energy that was sent down at the Garistro when he first showed up uh, emanated from that. And uh, the Tao uh, is waving you over to them. Well, I'm still perfectly fine. Um, so after I, I believe I already gave uh, Jerry a heal at the end of last time, um, so I skip towards his direction, holding my sword out in front of me, and I go, hip, hip, smile now, show us your teeth. To the to the Dow or to me? To the Dow. Okay. Jerry, how do you look, by the way? Um, after the heel, uh, pretty banged up. Pretty banged <laughs> All up. All right, let me give it a lot of bludgeoning, yeah, yeah, bludgeoning yeah. damage. As Just we walk giant over there. bruise. Yeah. Purple. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you a third level cure Ooh. wounds. Nice. As we walk over, so let's see. The Dow looks at you and says, "You get 14." Hello. Thank you. My name is Ralzala, and her voice is very gravelly and earthen sounding. And uh, she says, what is your name? Wow, Zala, you're not Smiler. <sighs> I'm Ollie. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Jerry. <coughs> Jerry. Jerry. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Jarvis. Jarvis. I am Ral Zala. I am the unfortunate keeper of this tower through a bargain I made with Zeriel and I am in need of adventure services if possible maybe we can strike a deal if I may know what you may need I may may be able to help you well uh Raul, we came here looking for a smiler um do you know a smiler possibly a defiler uh 
Raudzala does not know a Smiler, although a few weeks ago someone came by here with a rather happy attitude for this place, which is not common. Ah, uh, gotcha. Their gotcha. name? You don't know their name? No. What, may I ask, do you need with this Smiler? Uh, just find out what happened to him, right, boys? I think that's all it was. We thought that one was Smiler. I think we were supposed quite to a grin. bring him back? I don't even think we were supposed to bring him back, just make sure he's not dead. Maggie was real loose on uh, the, the things. I, I wrote it down somewhere. I'll find it. Something about him wanting us to do something and him paying us and or him doing something present if not she'd pay us two soul coins well that was just to, to to find him and make sure he was okay we could either get paid by him or she would pay us if he didn't <clears throat> but let I me can't remember exactly what let me ask you a question what are you friends of zariel Why do no, you want to uh, know? Because I am trying to break a bargain that I had made with Zeriel that links me to this place. And you see, I was in a feud with a fellow Dao who wished me undone, and so I made a a bargain with Zariel for her help against this Dao, and now I'd like to get out of this bargain, but the only person I know of that could possibly define how to get out of the bargain would be a certain oracle in the Bone Brambles. And for that, I would need your help, because I am chained to this place. And this oracle would willingly help you? Hmm. I don't know. She is... Her name is Red Ruth, and she lives at the heart of the Bone Brambles. And she may require your help in order to help me, but I can help you in many ways if you will tell me whose side are you on. Well, I'm on mine. Uh, yeah, kind of our own, realistically speaking. I feel like we came, well, I don't know, it sounded like you guys came down here with one, with one thought and, uh, Things changed. New information has been learned. Don't reveal the secret. Um, uh, Lulu speaks up and says, "Guys, like we're we're trying to find the sword to to hopefully return Zeriel to her former glory, righteous glory, or I'm afraid put an end to her." If right, see, that, exactly that, Lulu. See, you just kind of contradicted yourself. Um, so kill her or save her are two very different things. Well, you know, I, I'm, I've i been <laughs> thinking about, like, how, how, obviously I've been thinking about how I lost my memory and the few memories that have come back didn't give me good feelings about the place Zeriel went to, you know, or attitude uh, no longer righteous and holy so if she's in charge of a level of hell she can't really be too good right now you're doing phenomenal mental gymnastics keep at it Lulu. you'll get there so anyway Raul, uh no i wouldn't say we're exactly friends but we are looking for something. Yeah, the sword. Yep. Thought I was going to get to that, Lulu. Thank you. Rauzala knows of someone who 
has great interest in removing Zeriel from power. Their name is Bell, and I have the capability to tell you where to find Bell and give you a letter of introduction, a positive letter of introduction that would most certainly allow you entry to speak with Bell, who uh, has many, many ways that they could help you. Are you familiar with Bell? Uh, I, I yeah. really Ma feel like I've heard the name. Maggie mentioned him, uh, yeah. I believe. Lulu remembered that in the dream, I think. Bell is the former Archduke of Avernus before Zeriel was put into place. Yes. And Bell thusly hates Zeriel with everything in their being, and they wish to overthrow Zeriel or see her demise so they may retake their rightful place as the Archduke of Avernus. Well, the enemy of my enemy is still a fucking devil, but sure, why not? Uh, where's this uh, Bone Brambles? She she um, goes around the tower and says, follow me. And uh, she points, and you see in the distance there's there's it's hard to see as uh it's very hot and uh but you do see a little little lip of like a crater in the distance and you see a layer of fog hovering above uh some thicket of some kind uh and she says those are the bone brambles and oh, if you far at all. if you meet Red Ruth, she will surely be able to determine how I can break my bargain with Zeriel. Well, uh, which way did you say that happy fellow went when he passed through a couple weeks ago? Uh, I do not know. I was not keeping track of him. Hmm. Well, Jen Smiler's trail kind of runs cold here, uh, but there's a chance that he always ran across Red Ruth, and she knows. If necessary, I can give you two soul coins in addition to the letter of introduction. Hmm. Now we're talking. Uh, let's it make sweetens it the pot a bit. Let's, let's make it sweeter, though. I mean, it's, everything tastes a little bad down here in hell. How about three? You got three. Three. You have a deal. Do you know how to huh. make Pretty repairs much. on a vehicle? <laughs> she asked for six. Uh, she turns to you and says, that is not my area of expertise or a mode of transportation that I am familiar with. Okay. Maybe Ruth will know. I'm sure Maggie will know somebody that will know how to fix it up. Are you not capable of mechanic? Hey Jarvis, I, I thought you were the brainiac of the of the crew. You don't know how this thing works. I mean, I was able to figure out it took soul coins, and oh, where man. you know, a gear we needed, but I don't know how to fix this thing. I'm, Here, I'm, I'm thinking we've been traveling with an engineer. Pretty sure Chuck and Clonk told us he did soul coins. You're looking <laughs> at the um, demon grinder. It is extremely beaten up, and uh, you already know... It's got, know, like, four hit points or something. Yeah. Eight, I believe. Eight. It's it has, you or already no, know that this... It had 16. <laughs> the steering nope. is yeah. is locked up. Mm. And the wrecking ball is all tangled up. And the wrecking ball is tangled up. Uh, you would need to, you know, investigate, obviously, to find yeah. out... I'm actually going to investigate and see if I can figure out how to unlock the steering wheel at least so we can get it moving. Okay, you're going to spend like 30 minutes doing that? 
Jerry, why don't you, you're, you look like a strong fellow. Can you untangle that ball? Sure. I don't think I could even lift it if I tried. Mod 20 on investigation. All right. Uh, you think it... You think uh, some of the gears that are made out of uh, the similar demon horns that you acquired earlier are just uh, knocked out of place, specifically some very small ones in a gearbox that will require some dexterous hands to put into place. Dexterous hands? You're going like to try it? Yeah, after I look, I'd like to try to fix it. Can okay. I try to untangle the ball? Yeah, one sec. Go ahead, Jarvis. Just a straight dex roll? Yeah, dex. Ah, 21. You're able to do that, and you think you're able to uh, steer now. And, Jerry, what did you get on the wrecking ball? What, uh, what am I rolling? A strength check. Because uh, you're basically this, these chains are hefty chains, and uh, this 15. 15 uh, you're not able to untangle it and uh, dislodge it from its current state. Uh, it will require another 30 minutes or so of working. Seeing on him it. struggle, can I go try to help him? Yeah, you can try to help him and uh, give him give him an, another shot at this with advantage. Go ahead, Jer. Oh, okay. With advantage. Okay. Yeah, I'm helping you. 24. With Rolikos's direction and he, his helpful hands uh, guiding some of the chains as you're doing the heavy lifting with the wrecking ball, you're able to untangle it and you think... Both the uh, lock steering and the wrecking ball are now working, of course. Um, and I'm spending that hour mending the shit out of every small, less than one foot rent that I can find in this machine. And remind me I, what... I got 60 mendings. Remind me <laughs> what mending can work on. Um, a single break or tear in an object you touch. Uh, as long as the breaker tear is no longer than one foot in any dimension, you mend it, leaving no trace of the former damage. You can uh, repair a magic item or construct, but can't restore magic to such an ob object. Not that I, that applies here, I don't think. But okay. I'm fixing minor things. Sure. For an hour. You're <laughs> able to do that, and it definitely looks better. Um, you're not sure how functional your repairs are would be comparing it to its previous state. Uh, sure. But uh, it's definitely in a better looking place. Um, Got to have there's... a car that looks nice, guys. Actually, yeah. And uh, so you took the deal with Ralzala, I'm assuming? Mm-hmm. Yes. And... Uh... Yeah. I I would have uh reached out to shake their hand on the deal. Uh do they have hands to shake? They do. That's like shaking uh stone hands. And they shake your hand and their hands dwarf your hands, your paws. Oh, indeed. In <laughs> indeed. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> They are paws. Uh with with uh with weird thumbs, I guess. Um for a cat. And yeah. uh Rosala <laughs> bows their head and uh bids you adieu unless you have any other uh, questions. I think we're off. She melds back into the ground underneath the tower. And uh, that's it for her. You guys head back into the vehicle. It does start up. It is. The alignment's real fucked up. So whoever's driving, who who's driving? Uh, you were a driver, I believe, right, Jarvis? Yeah, I was. So, Jarvis, you are getting an arm workout like you've never had before. Uh, 
definitively like you've never had before um, because this thing is pulling hard to the right and you're basically cool. just leaning on the steering can wheel. I, can I steer it with my strength of negative one? You're definitely struggling. Uh, <laughs> for how long you can keep that up? You, you guys. You're smart is, enough to realize this is not going to. This, this, this is hard. Anyone else? This is, this is, I, I'm not so, strong enough for this. Can you uh -oh. help me? Jerry, you wanna you wanna drive this bad boy today? Yeah, Mr. Strongman. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. So Jerry hops in there and uh, he's got one arm on the uh, side of the steering wheel, just kind of in a cruise position, <laughs> <laughs> just keeping it keeping it going straight. <laughs> Other arms out the window. Just... Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm vibing uh, off of that. I'm sitting in a harpoon seat with my. Uh... I forgot the name of the hat again. Oh, I'm going to look it up. It's a real Starts obnoxious name that I can't bicocket. remember. Yeah, it's a bicocket. Yeah. And I got the bicocket like, <laughs> down over my eyes, like just taking a break <laughs> while we're driving. We didn't have to go far to get to the bone brambles, right? Yeah, distance here is funky. But we could see it, so there's something. Yeah. something. <laughs> uh, there we go. I fucking... Sometimes I just click random shit and zoom on accident and it screws up my whole screen um yeah it takes a few hours and you guys are getting pretty tired uh are you meaning you could take a long rest and gain the benefits from it because you were traveling a long time before fighting the garistro uh jarvis can you do that thing you've been talking about doing for such yeah. a long time now we just can't move I do it. Well, we could stop. And... Yes, yes, but yes, I, mean, I can do it. I could fit nine people in this little pretend dome. Nothing pretend get, dome or nothing, real dome? I'm it's a real dome. Assured. It's real. Okay. It's real. Nothing can get in it, but yeah, it's magical. It's not. It would have been a lot funnier if you were just a wizard <laughs> putting up a pretend dome. Pretend dome. <laughs> And you tried well, to, yeah. it's, it's just a minor illusion. Yeah, yeah. No, not even that. Yeah. He's just t convincing you guys that totally it's not. it's up. No roller coaster. It's, it's, it's up, but it's yeah. magic. It's up. It's a it's a three amigo situation where uh, he really thinks he's a wizard, but <laughs> got it out of a Cracker Jack box or something. Yep. Like how Jarvis could identify things, or no, Jarvis. So Kairos. uh, Kairos, that's the one. Uh, Jarvis, are there any? material special materials you need for this oh, that's a very good question i think i think i remember correctly um what kind of pearl yeah it's for this it's time? nothing <laughs> nothing worth cost i was like i don't think i needed any okay all right um yeah it's just normal materials okay uh yeah so you spend it as a ritual putting it up i assume i do okay. and it lasts for eight hours cool and it has a 10 foot radius um, and I assume it ends we... if I leave it, so I cannot leave it. Um, nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit inside. The spell fails if a larger creature or more includes a larger creature or more than nine creatures. Um, everyone can move around it freely. All creatures and objects are barred from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects cannot extend through the dome or be cast through it. The atmosphere inside the space is comfortable, dry, regardless of weather. Okay. Can we go in and out of it, or do we need to stay in it? We have to stay. It says if I leave, you just have says, to. So I think I'm the only one that has to stay in it. Jarvis but it also can't says, leave. Um, like, can you give us free passage through it, or is it? Yes. Is yeah, it says creatures and any objects okay. within the dome when you cast a spell can move through it freely. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, you guys can come in and out, and I can designate it as dim or dimly or dark, dimly lit or dark. As well. Are you? just setting it up next to your machine uh just kind of on the outskirts of this crater or where are you putting this thing up that would be most yeah yeah <laughs> any any details about the how big is the crater uh it's pretty damn big do you guys yeah. want to be like down in the crater so no one can see this dome no, it's full of brambles and You can change fog. the appearance of it, can't you? That's what I was more getting it at, says, the appearance. It says the dome is opaque from the outside of any color you choose, but it's transparent from the inside. 
Yeah, so you can make it like blend into the landscape, kinda. Kind of a reddish okay. brown. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. So, are are we sleeping in shifts? Uh, I I'm awake <laughs> and chipper, you guys. I, I I can stay up for a little while. Uh, I'm also only half sleeps. Yeah, so. I'm in a trance, so I'll be I'll be chilling. Does Rolikos, uh, like, how do cats make their beds? Uh, I mean, I have a cat, and he just kind of lays wherever, realistically. So it's not like he always dog. does, like, no, he just does, like, the cat stretch when he's laying down, you know, where they, like, stretch out mm -hmm. and their claws come out a little bit. Oh, damn. So I definitely do one of the one of those before. Now you're gonna have, you're gonna have two cats in this dome. It's gonna be like pretty loud, purring noises. Purring. So question. So it says nine creatures of medium size, but it doesn't mention anything in terms of objects. But it does say creatures and objects within the dome when you cast the spell can move through it. Can we cast it with it being ten feet radius, so twenty feet dome? Can we fit the vehicle in too, or no? Part of it. a big vehicle okay one of the bigger ones it fits yeah. five people all right never mind you can get i'll part be of taking it, my watch sitting on top of the car it's a twelve thousand pound vehicle so um like yeah. a minivan uh no <laughs> minivans no. are much smaller <laughs> isn't a minivan like one or one a thousand pounds two thousand no. a ton but it, like, I'm thinking like a Super Duty Ford F-350 oh, okay. is like 4,000 pounds. This thing's 12, so. It's just made of dense material. True, but it's also fucking huge. Oh, uh, so big. I remember so, my motorcycle was 600 pounds, like fully fueled, so. Damn, Dave. You had That's a motorcycle? Surprising. I really that was, thought a motorcycle that was, would be heavier than that. Uh, that was a light motorcycle, too. Yeah. So like a Harley or something is really heavy. I remember my stepdad had a fat boy Harley, and as a teenager, I went out there to sit on it, and I kicked the kickstand up, and I couldn't hold it up by myself. Oh, it was so no. heavy. So heavy. And so it went down on its side, scuffed the chrome, and oh. uh, I put it back up, got it back up, and then I just stacked up a bunch of material next to it because he wouldn't remember if he parked it next to this material. <laughs> and uh, he was none the wiser. Also, fuck nice. him. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, we got one shift from Ollie. Or are you doing – what are you – what's happening? Yeah, one shift for me. I'm in a trance for part of it, so I'm I'm up. Okay. Uh, Jerry's going right to sleep. And Rollercoast, you want the... I could take a shift, yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, throughout the night, uh, you hear moaning wails and uh, sounds like laughter or screaming uh, coming from the crater. And Hell sounds. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, this one's a little more ghostly, uh, echoey. Okay. Than you you might be used to down here. Um, the night passes without event. Uh, yeah. Sick. So I'm gonna hit this long rest button here. You can, but let me check something. Your rest is not going to be as good as it was elsewhere. For the most part, you can hit the long rest. So from the sleeping on the plains of Avernus... Uh, you guys do me a favor and for your passive perception take a negative one to it you can do that by clicking on passive perception and then clicking customize or you can just remember it 
uh, in yeah. case I ask. Got it. Cool. Adjust it. Excellent. So uh, you come to the non-changing morning of Avernus, and uh, you guys want to head out into the crater? Anything you want to do before uh, doing so? Nope, I'm good. I can. Uh, are we going to be sneaky about this? Or are we going in guns blazing? Oh, sneaky always. That's way smarter. God, I love you. <laughs> um, I'll give us a pass without a trace. Okay. Do 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 do. Everybody gets plus ten to their stealth roll. Do 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 do. Finally, someone who can be stealthy. Finally. As you were approaching the crater uh, last night, uh, check your stream, Jake. Fuck. Oh no. I swear to God, Zoom. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Every time it changes my window property for some reason. If I click something wrong, I fucking hate it. Funny, when you were complaining about Zoom like a few minutes ago, I checked it, but. I forgot about the delay because it was working and a buddy just messaged me that it's black. I'm like, oh. And you know, the weird thing is the window was on the correct window. It just went black for some reason. And then all I had to do was click it to another property and then back up to the same one and it magically turned back on. <laughs> Fuck you, Zoom. Uh, anyways. So uh, as you're approaching the crater, you saw multiple... Cool, thanks. Uh, you saw multiple trails leading in over the edge of the crater and down, presumably, into the brambles. Uh, are you just picking a random one? Are you doing any investigating? I would definitely like investigate. To, yeah, try to find the easiest way down. How much How much time would you like? Because you're going to be going around this crater, right? Uh, kind of checking each trail that leads in. How much time would you like? How much of the day would you like to do? You guys want to give it, like, an hour? Is that too yeah. much? Mm, no, definitely so not. We're it's just trying to, to follow the, right the trails? Yeah. We're fine. You're looking for the right trail to follow. What if What if I just uh, fly up there and look around and see if I can find the right one? Well, there is a fog above the... Fog. Oh, God, I missed that. Yeah. I don't like fog. Yeah, so I would say give it an hour of walking. Okay. Uh... Who won't... That'll be the entire time of my pass without a trace. Okay. Uh, did you guys already roll your stealth checks? I rolled a 24. With the plus 10? Yeah, I only rolled a 8. Oh. I got a 34. 20. I feel good about it. Lulu 19. got an 18. Jerry, did you add plus 10? Yeah, 19. Damn. Pretty rough rolls. Uh, other than one, but... Even still, <laughs> still so sneaky. It's still better. <laughs> oh, it's definitely better having pass without a trace yeah. for sure. Right. Uh, so you guys are hopping. There's obviously uh, boulders scattered around the edge of the crater from whatever impact it impacted it, uh, and hopping from boulder to boulder, uh, pausing when you think you hear anything coming. Nothing ever comes into your your field of vision uh, around the crater. And then checking out these trails, you can't really discern if one is better than the other unless you, just from the outside. Go down them. You, how far do you want to go down into these things? How how wide is is there any trails that look like they'd be like better fit a group of people? So just to give you a box description of this place, a maze of warped trees and bone-like vines stretches before you. Calcified corpses merge with the trees, covered in fungal pods that feed on the blood oozing through the undergrowth. Here and there, narrow paths wend deeper. Is Wend a word? It is. 
Fuck, I love learning new words. Uh, <laughs> That's a fantasy word for you right there. Yeah. The only time you're going to see it is in fantasy writing. Narrow paths <laughs> went deeper into the wood. So these, at best, get five feet wide, these, these paths. Okay. And, yeah, they're very... This whole thing, each trail was very... Uh, so no, yeah. They're all narrow. Yeah. None of them look like they have any markings, any skulls or skeletons hung about. Uh, or, give me uh, some perception checks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a 15. Uh, 17. Jarvis, you're muted. Dang it. I'd also like to look and see if I can find any tracks that people have maybe gone down before. Okay. Uh, survival check for that. Wow. Eight. Jerry, what'd you get on your perception check? What's Jerry doing? Is he just looking around? It's, uh, he got a six on perception. Yeah, he's just not very interested, I guess. <laughs> Still recovering from the previous day? Yeah. <laughs> getting getting kicked with hooves and, and such. Distracted by the blood coming up from the undergrowth. Oh, that's <laughs> also. Box description. Mm -hmm. It really grabbed me. That one got me. That's disgusting. I think what <laughs> would bother me most about that if, is if there was an iron smell, just a subtle iron smell. There would it. have to be. There would, there would have to be. I don't know. I've never been in a wood that had blood coming out of it. I don't know. Well, Ollie doesn't wear shoes, so he's not looking for it. Ooh. <laughs> would Ollie, Ollie clean his feet? He's like going to be prestidigitating the shit out of them the entire time. <laughs> Just going... Yeah. No, he's not going to like it. He's going to be walking with, like, like animals with shoes on, like, yeah. big steps. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent <laughs> visual. But very sneakily, I got a 34. <laughs> All right. On the, on the uh, stealth, yeah, you got a 34 on the stealth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um... You think you see some wispy trails uh, as your best notion of where to go in this. Um, other than that, each one of these trails, there are entrances to the crater. There are five separate trails uh, around the perimeter. And then once you go in to one of the trails, uh, some of them fork two or three times. So, gotcha. Well, oh, well, boys, uh, it's it's gonna be this one. Uh, smells better. Sure. I don't know how you can determine any difference in smells down here. To me, it all smells like hot garbage. Oh, guess I'm taking point then. As I start to brazenly stroll, so Ollie first into the blood. Who's who's second? Dave. Jer. Jer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll good. be third. I'm happy about that. Yeah, I'll take up the rear. <laughs> okay, roller coast in the back. Glad Jerry's right behind me. That makes me feel better. <laughs> I can shoot through my team if I try hard enough. All right. So the trail on the outside is windy and then as you get uh closer in uh following these wispy markings on the ground the brambles get decidedly more structured and uh you you find yourself with structured by what i mean is like walls and uh that they, they were manicured in some way shape or form and you come to a dead end, at which point you start to hear some wailing whispers of voices asking you, For the wonders of life, show us the wonders of life. Oh, God, guys, I'm getting another one of those calls. <laughs> I, can, no, I, I, heard I hear that, too, Jerry. Oh. Oh, Jarvis casts... Jarvis casts mage armor. Okay. Um, Are you guys... They keep saying, show us what we miss. 
Um, I put my hand on the brambles and I use prestidigitation to make one cubic foot of them uh, get warm. Anybody else doing anything? Or warmth just of life. Re okay. Relying on Ollie? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just going to see what he while, does. While he's, while he's doing that, um, I'm also going to use... Uh, where is it? Oh, I'm dumb. Uh, minor illusion to also where his warmth is to cast a fire in that vicinity. Okay. Uh, Warm flame. The the whispers and cries die out, and you just hear what little wind there is going through the brambles. And then you hear, ah! and then roll initiative. Oh. <coughs> Was it enough? <coughs> Probably my second idea. Well, for how Jerry. many times are we going to ask this thing if it's Red Ruth before we decide to kill it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. If she's red. <laughs> <laughs> if red goat flies at us, then we gotta we gotta think about it. <laughs> We're gonna hold the finger up in the air. Yeah, for at least four rounds. That's <laughs> really funny. At least there's not a demon zapper I'm, around. I'm he had sure, so many teeth. He was grinning. I'm sure Jake would it was enjoying the shit out of that one. I didn't even think. What, in my description, it was just like I was describing it. That's it. Yeah, and I wasn't a lot thinking. Of teeth any about the implications of it uh but i oh, enjoyed good. it jarvis what'd you get on the initiative 10 jerry 12 with advantage yeah this is how it goes sometimes God. if yeah. uh, it feels like more than i got more often than not with you with these advantages. with initiative yeah i've been rolling bad i don't know why roller coaster i got double ones last time 16 nice uh, 15. 15. But I also I only have a plus one in initiative, so it's never going to be that high. Yeah. Okay. Hi, should I put her to sleep? <laughs> nice. Cast identify on it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> ghosts are notorious oversleepers. So these ghost dryads are coming out of the brambles and attacking you guys. Rollercoast, you have first action with your wicked quick yes. 16. Sick. Do, uh, where are they coming from? Behind all, me in all around you. All around? And this whole place, uh, to give you an idea, it's going to be very difficult to get more than five feet away from each other without okay. going just getting um, around a corner or something. <clears throat> gotcha. Um, how far is the closest one? Like five feet. Oh, shit. Okay. How far is the farthest one? <laughs> five feet. They're right on top of you. They're all on me? They're all on top of all of you. Like, oh, okay. it's all within... Well, I figure there's like four of us, so it's got to be at least like ten feet away. Oh, you're trying not to get disadvantage? Yeah. Uh, it's it's like less than 10 feet. So you guys okay. are back to back. And this is a very small area, like less than 10 feet. Um, yeah. All right. I am going to do something. Sometimes we get disadvantage. Super uncharacteristic. Sword? Pulling out, pulling out the short sword. Nice. Um, let me just double check one thing real quick. Is there any What's... feat that gets rid of the disadvantage from close range? Yes. Which one? Crossbow expert. Yeah, like, that's oh, the only yeah. range thing. Um, I'm going to bonus action. Cast magic weapon on my sword. Okay, nice. At a... Well, it's a second level spell, right? Yeah. So it's... And it makes it a magic weapon and then gives me... It makes it a plus one weapon for the time being. Cool. Uh, it is concentration, so I'll try to remember that. And then I'll give uh, two... Er, Quax. Three? Let me see if Dread Ambusher works with all attacks. Dread Ambusher. 
attack at you can make additional. Yeah, it doesn't require bonus action to Druid Ambusher. Okay, so three attacks. Druid Ambusher. Um. <laughs> er, my good. First attack is a 16. Uh, 16 does, in fact, hit. These. Second attack is a 15. Ethereal Dryads. <clears throat> Uh, 15 does hit. And the third attack's higher. Okay. 20. Mod. Mod 20. What are my sword damage at? It's a d6. I haven't had a roll one of these in a while. So the first hit is 8 damage. Nice. Second hit is 6 damage. Nice. 14. Third hit... Uh, oh, third hit gets an extra dice because of Dread Ambusher. So that's six, ten, and then. Three, so 13 damage on the third hit. 27 total with your dumb short sword. Amazing. Jeez. <laughs> Rangers are the shittiest class, though, for sure. Yeah. They no, suck absolutely. in combat. <laughs> God. They're just not the most exciting. Is what it is, I think. I don't know. I think doing I, massive no, amounts oh of no. damage is exciting. I'm enjoying it, but I think a lot of people like diversity. I th and lots of times it's followed up with, well, but Gloomstalker and the and the Horizon Walker are cool. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The two added subclasses are, well, those are cool. I played with a hunter who was throwing down massive amounts of damage. So yeah, no, know. Rangers can pump out DPS for sure. All right, uh, Ollie, you're up. Yar. Ooh, that's me. Um, I'm going to start swinging. So I'm going to swing my sword. Nice. Is it magic? It's very magic. Cool. It looks very neat. It's very magical. Hopefully it hits something with my whopping 14. It does hit. Sweet. Are you going for How the same many... one or a different one? We're on opposite side of the group, okay. so I can't so, imagine yeah, we, different one. I would go for the same one. Um, however, how many are within slashing distance of me? Two. How many could I have targeted? Two. Two? Just two? Yeah, I'll still do it. Um, I'm going to give a, my slashing flourish a whirl. Is that like an AoE? Which, yeah, basically. Basically. All right, so first, this is my damage roll for the sword. And then my inspiration die was a seven. So to the one I was attacking, that does 17 points of damage. To the other one, it does seven points of damage. Okay. And then my second attack is better, a 16 for another 14 points of damage. What did I do? 14 and 17 on the 1 and 7. So your slashing is just like a um, inspiration fueled? Yes, I can do three different maneuvers more or less with my inspiration. One adds to my DC, one right. adds to my AC for a round. Uh, one is the AoE one I'm doing right now. And the last one um, is I can push the target and then use my reaction to close the distance immediately if I want to. Okay. Those are my three options. Cool. That's very handy, that last one, if necessary. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so now mm -hmm. the Got Banshee on Rollercoaster's turn. And what does the Banshee want to do? I love the guy honking out honk, outside. Honk, honk. Jesus yeah. Christ good honking pattern he's got going on I'm not a fan of honkers in general just a fun fact about me <laughs> alright um, horrifying visage I need all of you to make a wisdom saving throw Oh, I, feel I should bad. have done something different with my turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Ooh, ooh, piece of candy. Seventeen for me. 
Pass. Seven. Jarvis four. fail. Jerry fail. You're frightened. Thir Thirteen. Just pass. So <laughs> Jarvis and Jerry, you are frightened for one minute, and you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns with disadvantage if the banshee or if the uh, dryad is within line of sight. Uh, okay. What does uh, being frightened do to you? Being frightened. A frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. Can't get closer creature to Creature cannot it. willingly move closer. Yep. All right. And that's that Banshee's turn. Every All of them are within swing distance, though, right? Most, uh, two, you could, yeah. Each one of you can get two of them if you had, like, an AoE or something. Um, or you could divide your attack. Uh, but that is that Dryad's turn. I'm going to keep saying Banshee because it's just a reskinned Banshee. Uh, Jerry, it's How your many turn. Of them are there? Three. Oh, okay. Um, so I was right behind uh, Ollie, so I'm gonna attack that one. I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use reckless. So does that cancel out my disadvantage? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just roll once. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then I'm gonna use create weapon master. It's gonna be minus five. Uh, I'll see if all these bad rolls are done. Uh, so it's a. Uh, 17? Yes. Okay, so it's going to be plus 10 to the damage. Oh, sorry. I forgot to say I'm raging. Okay. I rolled two ones on the damage. Nice. Uh, let's, see, let's see here. That is... Uh, so that's 20 damage. Nice job. And then my second <clears throat> attack. Not gonna hit. That's a nine. Nope. Not gonna hit. Okay. How does my turn? Jarvis. 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 Jarvis sees his friend Rollercoast right behind him, concentrating on the spell he just cast, and he reaches in his pocket and then drops the transmuter stone in his pocket. And giving him uh, proficiency, your proficiency bonus on your con saves. There's no, like, attunement or anything? Nope. It's as long as it's in your possession. Okay. Cool. And then I'm going to use my action to... What are you, you saying? To? Are you saying that's a bonus action? I was. I thought it would be. Is it not? No, that's an action. Oh, it's an action? Okay. I'm just going to end it at that then. Okay. Who did you give it to? I gave it to uh, Rollercoast. Rollercoast, I mean, uh, it's now the second Dryad's turn. The one Jerry just hit. And Jerry is going to... Its name is also Jerry. Where on this sheet is my perfect... Oh, it's right there. Jesus. Wait, oh what? Yeah, if you actually click on your con in D&D Beyond, you can... Go to customize and add proficiency to your, um, your customize. Gotcha. Did you just learn about their funky abilities? <laughs> I'm also waiting for someone to stop dying. It's, <laughs> thanks. For, it's very inconvenient. Goddamn Rona. <laughs> I was just. <laughs> I was like, nah, I won't say it. Okay. Too soon. Sorry. Jerry, she's gonna wail at you. The dryad releases a mournful wail, uh, and this wail has no effect on constructs and undead. All other creatures within 30 feet of her, which is all of you that can hear her, must make a constitution saving throw. On a failure... A creature drops to zero hit points. Yep, this is a banshee. Okay, I didn't know the real quick, the Jarvis, is that proficiency to my con save only to save, like, on a concentration? No, it's check? any con save. All con saves. Okay, okay. 
This is a big roll, guys. That's hey, insane. They can all do that? <laughs> and how many of them are there? There's like five Three. of them? Three. Fifteen? Uh, Save. Oh, I was supposed to roll I was supposed to roll at the end of my turn. Uh, Sixteen. <laughs> Jake, what was the roll oh, I needed to make at man, the end of my I don't turn? I like my odds if you guys both pass. Wisdom? Uh, sure, it's at the end nice. of yes. Dryad's turn, not the end of your turn. Oh. 23. Baby! That's what he said. What'd before. you get, Jarvis, on the con save? Is it the end of my turn or the Dryad's turn for the to break the Frighten? It's on the end of its turn. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, what did you get on the whale save? Con save. Shit. Without your transmitter stuff. Yeah, I realized that. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Yeah. Uh, I'll heal you up. It was a good call. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Jarvis hits the ground. He's at one hit point, though. Why? I thought you said. Oh, he, I thought you said he goes down to one. Zero hit points. Zero drops to zero. Jeez, that's a crazy ability. So is that dead? Dead? No. Uh, he's making oh, death saves. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but all of you who made a su out. who succeeded, all of you who succeeded on that throw, oh. take. 15 psychic damage. That's not halved, Jer. No. It's the one that's not. Fuck yeah. Love when that happens. <laughs> Fucking psychic. <laughs> Giving you a headache. At least, I'm not, at least I'm not frightened anymore. You're not. There you go. Silver lining. It's the upsides. It's, it's, it's the next Banshee's turn. I'm just going to give you a metagaming hint they can only do this once a day so just make some saves <laughs> okay i've got a cleric right behind me that i just, just made the stone to make some saves. <laughs> are we rolling again is that what you're trying to is that what you're here? saying is that what you're yeah i us? forgot to roll for lulu this could be a tpk easy <laughs> could turn that way uh roll a con save again everyone jeez Oh wait, I'm dead. I don't roll a con save. Correct. Does the transmuter oh, stone but... still work? I don't know. It, Jarvis, does it? Uh... I think it does. I uh, yeah. As long as I don't create another one, it's it doesn't lose. This is the con save. Yeah. Uh, Eleven. Jerry hits the ground from psychic. I'm at fifteen. Rollercoaster is alive. Ollie is alive. Uh, so what do was, I... What's the save? That... What, or what's Lulu the threshold? Alive? It's is, yeah, a thirteen. Is... Is Lulu alive? Lulu passed both of hers. Yes. Uh, Jerry goes. The stone to kept Raz point. up. Yes. yes, it did. Jerry's oh, back. Yeah. Go Jerry. Yeah, Jerry's back to one. <laughs> good job. Good job. <laughs> just curious, would a twelve have passed? No. Wait, how did what, what just brought Jerry back? <laughs> uh, his orcish, <laughs> half orcish ability, racial nice. trait. Does he collapse and then come back? Like just like just like orc racial traits in WoW that are bullshit and overpowered. Uh, <laughs> in this game, it is too. Uh, okay. So, Jerry's at one on the ground though, uh, and it is now Lulu's turn. Oh, guys, my head hurts. Oh, how much damage Lula. did we take on that second one? Oh, good call. Thank you. I forgot to roll that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just thought I missed it. 13, 13 <laughs> psychic damage. God damn it. It's my stream. Oh, he's putting no regrets. Anytime I see Zoom group chat, I get like <laughs> nervous. Nervous. That reminds me. Hey, you want to run the stream next time there, uh, Rollercoast? Yeah. Oh. Or Jarvis? Or Jarvis can do it, yeah. Got a 2070 super. I could handle it. Indeed, you can. So, uh, what happens to Jerry in that situation? Uh, Jerry, that damage isn't going to you. You failed. Yeah, you just <laughs> failed. You you didn't take. Oh, that damage. got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, but Lulu is going to sparkle cone. Woo! Two of them. Yeah, Lulu doing combat things. Let's go. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's too loud. Jarvis, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, and unless you it's know like it's... like you knew what I was doing. That's how your hand moved your mouth. 
<laughs> so, oh, you know me too well, Brian. Eleven. One of the banshees disappears into the ethereal and is no longer present. And then uh, this one takes that damage from Lulu. As a spray of sparkles exit her trump, her trunk, her trunk, 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 trump. Jesus trump. Christ! I'm reading too much fucking news. All right, rollercoast. Okay, I will bonus action healing word. Who? Jarvis. Because he is down and out. Oh boy, I can't find my I default. Thrilled, that means I don't there have it to do it. I mean, you could help out Jerry. Five he's health you get. Standing. He's not standing. He's on the ground. Yeah, he's breathing. He's, he's breathing. <laughs> and then I'm, I will uh, take my two sword attacks at whatever the closest one is. Oh, shit. Hold on. I gotta roll two con saves real quick. Uh, neither of the damage was over 20, right? So it's just Correct. a 10 to pass. Yep, yep. So, oh, that's 11 on the die. That's, thank God for that transmutation stone. Another 11. Nice. It's Jarvis um, is, is saving people with his... Yeah, it's saving my ass right now. Actions. And this, technically. Um... And then, yeah, two weapon attacks. The okay. first time someone in my party had to do con save, so I was like, I might as well. 13. Oh, sorry, 14. Yes. And then 21. Yep, both hit. I keep losing my dice. Too bad you can't make two transmuter stones. Right? I mean, yeah, I can, right. just the other one disappears. Uh, four plus was now four plus four, so eight on the first hit. Okay. Three plus four, seven on the second hit. Fifteen total. That will be all for me. When you strike these ethereal ban banshee slash dryads, uh. Your sword slows down, it feels like, as it's going through them. Um, and you do, do feel like a hum come through your sword into your arm as it uh, crosses into whatever they are. Cool. And uh, now it's Ollie's turn. Oh, I'll shout out. Jerry, this is hardly a time for a nap. <laughs> and you get seven points of healing. Nice. My healing Thank word. You. Those are my healing words. Um, as my bonus action, and then I'll uh, start swinging. Um, so we've had two do that horrifying wail. One has vanished. Um, is one of the ones still up? I don't know that stuff yet. I'm just going to swing at whatever. You, you gave us that metagame information. We have no reason to know that otherwise. Um, so I'm just swinging. Nope. 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 That's an 11. Nope. Rolled a 2. Nope. Nope. Better. That's a 16. Okay. Um, yeah. Woo, max damage. That's 16 points of damage. Cool. To that one. And that is all I will do. You guys ready? Yep. One more. One more whale. Everybody who's alive, make We're all back that up. Oh, con yeah. save. Am I, I'm on the ground. Did I just roll on this on the ground? I'm, you're not. T I mean, you're just <laughs> listening, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I, did I not have a turn when I, uh, after the last one? And no, it's, we haven't gotten to you yet. So technically, I'm still frightened, right? So this is a disadvantage? Uh, no, that would have worn off because you passed out and then came back. Okay. Well, I'm down. I'm down. God damn it. I got a five. <laughs> got a 22. I feel like Jerry should be good at this. He has good constitution. I just don't roll well today. Uh, 13? 
Uh, just saves. That's what you needed. Oof. Wow. Let me yeah, roll. roll seven. Roll your psychic damage. Well, it's your lucky day. Uh, because I rolled a one, two, and a three, so that's a total of six psychic damage. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> just barely He's staying up. He's having a bad couple of days. Lovely. I'm glad I gave you that healing word instead of poofoing. Yeah. Like I almost did. <laughs> you know, it's going to matter if these guys can keep on just making us go to zero. Uh, you guys Blue have had some clutch, some clutch supportive moves in this encounter. Uh, Jerry, it's your turn. Um, the one that... Jarvis, uh, you're next. The one that uh, Ollie just swung at. I'm still... I'm going to get up and go... Oh, jeez. I'm brain scrambled. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just start swinging wildly, recklessly. Uh, trying to think. Okay, so I do actually have advantage now. And does your rage go away when you pass out? I don't know. Never, never thought about it. So it, it should say if you go unconscious. <sighs> Forget about it. Look at it later and just roll your damage. Yeah, your rage ends early if you're knocked unconscious. So I'll just rage again because this is a dire situation. Indeed. Thank God for advantage. Oh, God. Uh, oh, okay. That's... Um, let's see here. So on the second roll, I get a 18. To hit, yes. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. A uh, 13. Yes, that does hit. Okay, cool. Please, some major damage. Nice. Nice. So, 16 plus... <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, so 16, so 26 dam or 28 damage to that one. Okay, as you swing your maul down on this nice. dryad, you feel the resistance of the spirit slowing down your maul, but about halfway through, it releases as if it's just being swung through the air as this thing poofs into nothingness into mist and gas and is no longer in front of you cool so um when that happens when i use great weapon master i can get another attack okay there's another there's one more banshee up okay cool nice so that's a 20 yep. 27 yep Do you guys know what candy I got for D and D today? Twenty-five damage. Math. I, all I know is you didn't get us any. I'm not surprised. I like Swedish fish a lot. How much damage, Jerry? Twenty-five. So again, you smash through this thing, feeling the resistance as it gives way, and you kill this last banshee. Sweet. Uh, yeah, and Jerry just like falls backwards and on just on his back, just sprawled out like. Oh, your hand, God. your hand, and it's such close quarters. Your hand and feet are touching someone else, and everyone else is touching someone else. This is how cramped this area is. I immediately go to heal my two unconscious party members. Okay, so two spell slots. Yep, two level one cure wound aronis. <laughs> All right, first one will go to Ollie. And that is six health. Jarvis, make a death save. Jarvis. Pass. Okay. Jarvis gets four health. Back up. <gasps> oh, that was so sad. That was twice. That hurts. Oh, I have two points of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Did you did you hear her? She was so sad. <laughs> As I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, third level cure wounds myself. Nice. 
Can I not find? I thought exhaustion is under. It's in the upper right, I believe. Yeah, it's under your HP under conditions. That's what I went to. I don't it's see exhaustion. At the bottom exhaustion. of the list, there's a. Oh, there's that's multiple levels. Stupid. Uh, no, I, I get it. I just <laughs> makes sense to me. I'm just complaining. <laughs> my my scroll rule doesn't work, so when I scroll down, there was nothing. It's being dumb right now. I just got awesome heal rolls on that. Two Sick. And a five. Lulu goes. I'm kind of sad. I feel bad for them. Lulu, they almost just murdered us. No, no, she has a point. I feel bad for them too. And that was sad, right, Lulu? She sounded so sad. They all did, but that last one was so sad. Yeah. Is that why you passed out, Ollie? Yeah, I think so. It was really moving. You were, it didn't, it didn't pull on your heartstrings at all. Oh. No, it just hurt my head real bad. Oh, it was so much more than that. You've lost your touch, Rolly. You need to get in touch with those emotions again. Too hardened. You see what happens when you get in touch with your emotions? You go unconscious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you give a little, you take a little, you know. I, I get back up and I turn to Rollercoast and I was like, Ah, I hope that stone helped you because it didn't help me. Yeah, dude, thanks a bunch. It it did help you because I got back up <laughs> <you>. twice. <laughs> um, should we go back to the car? <laughs> <Try to rest? laughs> the car. Oh, the car. Well, we found no. a dead end anyway. The van. So we got to find our way through this, certainly. Um, I'm gonna <clears> check <throat> something real quick. I'm just gonna take my sword and just give it like a solid cleave into this dead end of bramble. Is it just like sword catches? There's no give, no movement here. Like this is correct. Y yeah, you get through like a twig, gotcha. and it just okay. yeah. Yeah, no, this is a. I mean, this definitely is in the way. So just keep your right hand on the wall and uh, everybody breathing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Barely. <laughs> as you guys are walking, you guys see me not even being able to keep up with you guys as my speed is halved. That's what happens at two. Yep. It's not too bad. We're, I mean, we're not going too quickly. I mean, we're. I think we're, this we're is. In a maze. It's not like we're sprinting through this thing. The most you've been injured since you guys have been in Avernus, Jarvis. Yeah, I'm I'm fucked right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just it's a maze. Just keep your right hand on the wall, and we'll get there eventually. Who? And I'll be smelling. So you guys want to try to find your way to Red Ruth, or head back to the car? I'm saying find our way to Red Ruth. Press forward. Press. Up. I was gonna say car rest, come back in. I mean, there's no reason we can't go take like a long well. I guess we can take a short rest. I mean, basically, anyway. if we run into any type of combat, we're royally screwed. Uh, I feel okay. <laughs> you guys don't feel okay? I mean, yeah, okay. We can go to the car. It's fine. Can't you sing to him? To Jerry? There, Ollie? Well, it wouldn't be, unless you can heal me, like, 20 or 30. It's I'm, I'm at 2, so... I'm severely like I'm barely. If I was role playing this, Jerry would be completely insane right now. Oh, Jerry. Jerry's Let just like. Something. Let me try something new. Hold my on. My brain one. it it's trying to come out my ears. <laughs> it's so sad, you know. And like, like you hurt, but it's just like your soul that hurts. It's I know just, that feeling. What's the point of any of this? Jerry, you're speaking to me on a deep level. I mean, what was I just saying to Rollercoast about that poor woman's scream? Her wail! It was so sad. Uh, and I'll give you a level 3 cure wounds as well. Uh, you get 10, 12... You didn't get as good a roll. 16 points. Uh, I got it. Uh, I feel a little bit better. So I guess you're not going Thanks, back buddy. to the car? Well, he said if, if I could heal him, then he doesn't need to go back to the car. How about you guys? You guys okay? <laughs> Travis, you look tired. Baby. I am very tired. Uh, like you're about to, like, die. You're, you're very gray. Uh, <laughs> Is that Lulu talking? 
No, this is Jake talking <laughs> on this screen. I'm wondering if he did that on purpose. He looks like an uh, apparition. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and and Roz just looks like a floating head with an arm feeding it. It's the beard. It gets rid of the neck. Yep. <laughs> Okay. I, I mean, we're we're halfway through this maze, or some some percentage through this maze. I I, I don't want to give up the lead. Uh, but if you if you're really gonna collapse, if you're gonna die, then we can we can get out of here. I guess. Uh. Yeah, I'm doing relatively okay. I'm just more worried about everybody else. I'm doing fine. I yeah, I want to go back to the car. Huh? You're like. We can barely get through these encounters. So. I feel like this is an amusement park or something, and you like someone got sick and is like complaining. <laughs> but I still want to hit this ride, and if we go back to the car, then we're not going to be able to get to the ride. If you guys are somehow confident that we're not going to run into something, I there's no like, confidence here at all. I feel like the, <laughs> if it's if it's a maze, I I'm thinking there's like two more encounters before we even get out of the maze. I'm Minimal. filled with confidence. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Let's go to the car. Executive decision. Half the, half the group is I mean, like, we can also, I was we waiting can stay, in line for this ride. We, we can stay <laughs> here, and I can put another thing around us, and we can just do it. Nothing can come in. Hey, best of both worlds. All right. Sounds good. So I tried, in your head. I, I tried to build another hut around us that blends into this, this atmosphere of <laughs> shit. Blood. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, you cast it. You got yourself a hut. You're gonna rest for an hour or so? Yeah. Well, only way to get rid of exhaustions is long rest, right? Correct. Yeah. Well, there's a few other ways, but short rest won't do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, all of us, if you use any hit dice, you get an additional d6 as I am fiddling. No, nope, I'm humming. I'm just humming a, a nice little tune. It's actually pretty, it's kind of sad. It's got a sad undertone to it. But this is just a long rest though, right? Mood. Short, rest. short rest. Oh, okay. So you can use hit die. And if anyone who uses hit die benefits from my song of rest and you get an extra 1d6. Only on one of them. Yes. Okay. Like if you use, no matter how many hit die yeah. you use, you get 1d6 extra. Okay. So even if even if my hit die are D12s, I just get a 1D6? Correct. Okay. Bonus 1D6. Roll five. Take it. Everybody using all of theirs? No, uh, definitely not all. <laughs> uh, do you want me to roll this in Discord or just do no, it? No, just do it. Yeah, just do it in, in front of you. Getting all ones and twos for all my rolls is terrible. Yeah, it's a bad feeling. Oh, I got I've a got... great one. I got a seven on my D8. Just threw my dice on the floor. Where'd it go? Damn it. There's no max to how many die you can use on a short rest, right? Correct. I mean, other than, you know. I'm... There's there's a max. Other than but... your max. Yeah, <laughs> yeah other than that. Um, just keep in mind, on the long rest, you only get half the total back. Yeah. Alright, that'll do. I only had to use three. I only had to use two. How much you use, Jerry? Really using them. <laughs> um, oh, God, I had yeah. to use a lot. I used six of them out of my Oof. eight. And that Big. doesn't even get me back up to full. Big oops. I'm technically not full, but I'm real close. Yeah, I'm pretty close to full now. Kind of, I'm. Eh, hmm. I used all my hit dice, so. Yeah. You guys are rocking and rolling now. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, get let's some... just go run into some more banshees and just go right down to zero. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If, if, if one of them asks, if, if we can ask that question again, I have a different answer that I think might work. Nice. I'm gonna turn my halo on. We get, right get asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> Roz is going to turn play Halo, apparently. I don't know yep. what that means. Turn uh, his Halo on. Oh, the Halo. Okay. The Halo. Cool. Um, 
Well, boys, you ready? Let's head out. Trudge, trudge, trudge through the blood. Okay, I need I need a survival check from one of you. I'll do it. Nineteen. Nice. Okay. Woo, jack of all trades. Um, Look at everything. You think you're making some progress. You run into a dead end and you come back out. Um, and then dead ends are okay, guys. We expected this. It you're you're going through this maze like an hour. Guys, can you walk a little slower? Nope. <laughs> I'm trailing <laughs> way. Nope. I'm, way I'm in the back, you guys. so I. Uh, Jerry just picks him up. <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> yeah. I ride on your shoulders, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he gives him. Yeah, he gives him, puts him on his shoulders. How big is Jarvis? I actually, um, is Probably my is skinny is my wizard flying? Does my move speed affect my flying speed? Probably not. You want to use fly to hover? Oh, actually, I think I can only fly for an hour, so never mind. Okay. Yeah, never mind. <clears throat> As you're you're continuing in this maze. You come across a, another dead end. This time there's foliage and detritus on the ground. And a few of the piles start to move and reach out to grab you. Roll initiative. The shambling mounds, you could call them. What are you, 20 unnatural. Nice. 11 for me. 17 for myself. Jarvis. 22. Wowzers. Yeah, at least I at least I didn't get disadvantage on that. Uh, <laughs> initiative's an ability check. Is it? Yep. Thank you. Sorry. I hate you. <laughs> I got excited. Well, it's your job to know that, actually. Everything is an ability I, I check or a save. I didn't realize it's it, yeah. pretty much one or the other. I thought initiative was separate. My bad. So no, if you if you're two levels two levels of exhaustion, you have disadvantage all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool. One level is yeah. disadvantage on all ability checks, but not saves. And so how do you go through a long rest and a short rest and still have two levels of exhaustion? Because I didn't. I got two level that. exhaustion at one time. I went down twice. Oh, uh, okay. Got it. And the short rest didn't give me anything back. 13 or sorry 14 math is hard 13 14 you're still faster than me <laughs> um am i faster though i got an 11 yeah no i mean by my half speed <laughs> quicker on the draw <laughs> yeah i know all right lulu goes first shocker good job lulu and lulu Shamble them mounds. Is going to Trumpet of Sparkles. Trumpet of Sparkles. And I apologize, I had a work message that I had to respond to. What are we fighting right now? Shambling, Shambling mounds. mounds. How many of them are there? Trace. Cool. Thank That's you. That's three. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I may have pretty failed sure. Spanish, but I took it. I'm pretty sure we're all Southern Californians here. We should all know that much. Uh, con save. I'm a U2 fan. I can go all the way up to 14. Nice. <laughs> okay, both mounds fail. Oh. Man, I'm, this this ambiance just changed to a raided village from plane of chaos and the raided village has screaming and it's very disconcerting <laughs> all right these mounds are screaming ah! uh, plus three they all both both of them fail i already said that and then that was 10 uh, wrong dice dummy
Okay, they take that much damage. And it's now Jerry's turn. As these mounds, Jerry, are just literal trash mounds of decaying garbage and uh, things from the bone brambles, including blood and uh, clotted blood clots. Oh, man, Jerry just like in disgust. He's just like, ugh, and he's just like frantically like taking like a big swing down down the ground. Smash, smash. Oof. Um, the 15? That the just hits. Swing? Nice. Um, Alright. All the mass. Uh, let's see. 8, 14. Were you going 20, reckless or no? Yeah, 24 with a great weapon master. And he takes another swing, unless that kills that one. Nope. Yeah, another swing at the same one. Uh, advantage. Ooh, nice. Uh, so that's 21. And is, uh, 9 plus... 27 damage. Each time pulling your maul out of the mound, you hear a noise. <laughs> Gross. All right. And that mound is looking very hurt. As hurt <laughs> as you think you can tell a mound is. Yeah, it already looked like a big mass of blood. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, roll it goes. Uh, We're in the I same will... confined space. It's like a literal Deadpool. Yep. I will uh, just hit it with a non-magical short sword. Okay. Three times. Do it. First hit is a 14. No. Second hit's a nat 1. No. Third hit is 18. Yes. That's the one that gets the extra damage from the Dread Ambusher. That is a total of 14 damage. Were you hitting the same one Jerry was or a different one? Uh, oh, it's the same one Jerry was if it's within reach of me. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, nope. Okay. Shambling Mound, one's turn, gets advantage on its attack on Jerry. Right, Jerry? Yep, I was attacking recklessly. It's going to multi-attack. It's going to make two slam attacks as some of these brambles try to grab onto you and punch <laughs> you in the face. <laughs> All right. As brambles do. That is a 19 on the first one? Yep. Okay. You take 12 bludgeoning damage from the slam. Okay. And... Oh, it's both attacks. Does a 15 hit? Nope. Okay. Uh, swings out and misses its second slam attack. And yeah, that's that's turn. The other shambling mound is going to slither and slosh its way over to Rollercoast and slam attack. Two of them. Does a 16 hit? Just hits. Okay. And then the other one misses. Sixteen bludgeoning damage. Roller coaster. Okie doke. Jarvis. You're muted. 
Cool. The one Jerry was hitting is Dunzo, right? It's you know it's alive. Oh, it's still got a little bit left. I, it's relative. My bad. Yeah. Um, I'm going to toll the dead. Okay. And that's a wisdom save of 15. Impressively, these are very wise mounds. No, they're not. <laughs> I was like, what? <clears throat> uh, okay, it fails. Beautiful. 13 damage. Nice. And it is necrotic. <laughs> yep. As a Dolorous Bell fills. Anything else? No. Okay. Holly, so Holly. You can air a mound, free. mound of blood. I'm going to start stabbing things. Okay. Which one are you, would you uh, like to snip? I will. I will do the one the group is attacking. Okay. Uh, Jerry and Relicos, if I can get in on that too. First attack. Oh, that's garbage. Uh, that's nope. That doesn't hit. That does. That's a nineteen. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is a defensive flourish. Is going to happen. Okay. So my first roll. Oh, that was garbage. <laughs> So it's a total of 13 points of damage, and I add two to my AC okay. for a round. Next shambling mound is going to one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm just going to use that die. Gonna go after Rollercoast. Cool. All right, a fourteen and a fifteen. Nope. All right, that's its turn. Lulu's turn again, and Lulu is going to tusk one of these mounds. Ooh, I hate when it rolls on 20 and then just rolls off. Uh, misses with her trump, or trunk. I cannot, her tusk, Jesus Christ. Uh, and that's her turn. Jerry. Um, yeah, I was just, I rolled my, uh, I rolled a 17 to hit, to hit the one. Okay, that uh, hits. That everyone's hitting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I was just rolling the uh, damage, but it is, uh, 14 plus, so 24, the Great Weapon Master. Does that kill it? Nope, almost. All it's right, still swing. moving. Another swing. Uh, so that's uh, 13? Nope. All right. Whiff. Man, I thought I was going to get that extra attack. Couldn't get it. Roll a coast. Two non-magical sword attacks. Are you uh, raging, Jerry? Yeah. Okay. 13 to hit and uh, 22 to hit. 22 hits. Uh, seven damage. Which one are you attacking? The same one okay. that we're all beating on. That takes it down to where it's not moving. Sick. Anything else? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Shambling Mound is now going to see which one of you it attacks. Jerry. Were you reckless on those two? Yep. Okay. Jesus Christ. 15 doesn't hit. Nope. Does an 18 hit? Yeah, that's my armor class. Okay. You take 14 bludgeoning damage. 
And now it's Jarvis's turn. And neither of the other two have taken any hits yet, since we've been beating on that guy, right? One of them took a hit. One of them took a hit. All right, I told the dead on that guy. Okay. Wisdom save, 15. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Natural one. Beautiful. A one and an eight. <laughs> Ollie? I'd be swinging. Okay. I'm gonna kill him. It's a 19. Yep. Well, that's first attack is 10 points of damage. Okay. Uh, definitely hits. It's 20s. Yep. And the second attack is at 12 points of damage. Okay. Still, Damn. still quite healthy. <laughs> oh, well, that's all I got. So. That's a different one, though, right? Yeah, it's a different yeah. one. Uh, uh, one of them hasn't been touched, though. So. Yeah. Uh, this one is going. Let's see who it attacks. And that's a Ollie. I didn't defense the forest this time. A natural Shame one on. and a sixteen. Which one does does a sixteen hit? No, sir. I take that on my little buckler. Okay. Deflected. Cool. Lulu's turn. More tusk. <laughs> More suck on her part. Jerry. Well, all the way back to me, huh? Same same old injured guy with the reckless and great weapon master. That's only a uh, 13, so nope. it doesn't hit on the first swing. Whoa, wow. <laughs> it bounced out of the dice tower, like, into the tray. Uh, oh, crap, man, neither hit. Okay. Roller coaster. Uh, I'm just going to start beating on this one now. The... The touched one or the untouched one? Uh, the touched one. Okay. The one everybody's now beating on. It's a 14. No. And Your sword 10. clanks off the bones of this sham shambling man. All right, so neither of those hit. I am going to bonus action cast... What's was he it gonna called? Cast? What could he be casting? Spiritual weapon. <gasps> oh, what does your spiritual weapon look like? Um, it it looks like a giant cat's claw. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll say. Can we? It's, I feel like that's too close to like a big bee's hand. But can we say it's like a maul that's shaped like a cat's paw? Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, what is that? Is that going to attack on the turn? Yes, it does. It? On its yeah. on the okay. turn, it yeah. I was Always shocked when my brain remembers something like a rule. So it's three plus one, four damage. Okay. That's not concentration. No, it's not. It's fantastic. I like yeah. it. I like it a lot. Uh, now it's going to retaliate against you with two slam attacks. That's a two on the die. That's not going to hit, but a twenty-one I think does. Yes. That is thirteen bludgeoning damage. If I could connect connect on these two slam attacks, I get another cool ability, but it's not happening for me. Jarvis. Jarvis points at the one that's been being beaten on and another Toll the Dead for another wisdom save. Uh, 13? Uh, nope. That is a fail. There's a minus three on wisdom. Shit. 15 this time. I love the idea of necrotic damage on something that's pretty much already dead. Maybe it's its life force that it's 
sucking away. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's like making a zombie rot even more. I mean, technically, this thing is like a, a plant. It says it's a like, large uh, plant. So I thought it had like swords and stuff coming out of it. It They're like bloodied and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Ollie. I can't believe I get to attack it again. Let's check in with Ollie with the weather. <laughs> it go rain. <laughs> I don't think that hits, but now I can't remember what the AC is. That's a 12. No. Didn't I think so. Time. Uh, 14. No. Sorry. Useless this round. Sorry. Just All can't right. can't take this thing down. Shambling no, mound good. that good. has yet to be touched is going to hit one of you. Uh, and that he is going to be Sir Jarvis. Nice. Does a 15 and a 17 hit. The 17, I cast shield. Okay. Nice. And both of them miss. Yep. Lulu's turn. She's going to tusk. Oh, nice, Lulu. Nice. Whopping 1d6. Jerry. J -j -j Jerry. So I, cr I critted. Um, nice. So I have to ask. I don't know what to do when I crit with Great Weapon Master. You do don't I double, double it. I don't double, but double the 10. Okay. No. So this is. Just Let's the dice you roll. Just the dice you roll. I wish. And I don't double. I don't double savage attack either. No, you just roll the extra die. Okay, that sucks because I rolled two ones on the damage. Um, Actually, so you just can double savage attack. You rolled it, yeah. So yeah, double it. I th I uh, think it specifically says in yeah, savage attack it. that it's not doubled. Oh, okay. And well, then yeah, if you it's added, not... you added savage attack says. Uh... When you score a critical hit, roll one of the dice an additional time and add it to the extra damage. Yeah. So it's not double, I don't think. I think okay. that's implied. So it's only a four, I believe, for the roll damage. Plus What's I your roll score? a, a oh, d6. Yeah. I roll a d6 four. again. A two. No, oh, fantastic. Uh, so plus rage, eight, four, two. 14 plus the 10 for the great weapon match for 24. Okay. So it's a weak, kind of a weak crit. Yep. So that, does, that, does that finally kill that thing? No, it's under, it's looking rough. As rough as a shambling mound can Jesus. look. Jesus. All right. So swing again recklessly. Nice. Uh, let's see. 23. Yes. Right. Okay. Eight. Uh, 16 and so 26 like I scored higher without the without the crit <laughs> it's still uh, hanging on to a thread of life ah oh, god really Jesus Roller coaster. crazy amount of damage two attacks at that same one okay 13 nope uh, 18 yes That's four. So it's seven damage and then bonus action. That kills it. Oh, okay. There's still one more, right? Yep. That has bonus been action. Move the spiritual weapon to it. Swing okay. with that. Uh, third. What's my spell attack bonus? Or is it? Yeah. So it's sixteen to hit. Yep. Three damage. Smash. All right, that guy's gone. That guy's gone. Jarvis. Appreciate that roller coaster for just taking that little bit of damage. So <laughs> I told the dead. Woo. I never gave Jarvis his sphere back. Eleven. Yeah, no, Jar Jarvis doesn't need it because Jarvis uh, is screwed on ability checks anyway, so he's not doing any concentration. <laughs> 
Just wanted to make note of that. No, I know. <laughs> 12 damage. Okay. Ollie. All right. I can do it this time. I got it. I can do it. 16. All right. Nice. Uh, that is 13 defensive flourish. Not very good. 16 points on the first hit. Okay. With a plus 3 to my AC. 15 to hit? Uh, yeah, that just hits. That does? Okay. And that is 13 points of damage for the second hit. Cool. Shambling Mound's turn. It's going to hit one of you. And one, two, three, four. It's going to go after Rollercoast. God damn. Seems you're whomping on me today. It just sees us as, like, four equally annoying, or five, including Lulu, like, humanist, humus blobs, or human blobs. That it can engulf. <laughs> that it just, I'm just saying that it just attacks randomly. Pretty much. Has no, has no bias whatsoever. A 15 okay. and a 21. A 21 hits. I can't hit with both of them, otherwise I'd engulf you. <laughs> Sucks. Eight. For a one off. Eight uh, bludgeoning damage. Like, I literally have not been able to use that ability once. I haven't hit on both attacks once. Even with the reckless guy. Lulu. Come on, Lulu. Lulu sucks. Jerry. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I guys. Rolled, I rolled everything already. Um, it was like a, uh, like a 19 to hit yep. on the second swing. The first swing does not connect, and then 24 damage. Rollercoaster. Two attacks. Natural 20. Nice. Voice. Mod 20. And then the spiritual weapon will miss. So the first, the nat 20. Is 8 plus 3. It's 11 damage on the crit. And then 8 damage on the second attack. Ollie. So 19? Yep. It's for 12. That's an 18? Yep. For 12? Cool. This thing's looking damaged. It is now its yep. turn. It's going after Ollie. Oh my god, I did it. I think. <laughs> you think that, do you? A 25 and a 23? God oh, damn. You did do it. Fuck. Not even shield is going to is going to save me from that. Barely. The first slam is a 14 bludgeoning and a 15 bludgeoning on the second. And then I need you to Oh no, you're just engulfed. Okay, yeah. You're in he you see Ollie get engulfed by this mass of crap. And he's inside of this creature. So bye. bye Ollie. He's gonna need a lot of cleaning. That's digitation, that's what it's for. That's why guys, I have it. Guys, this is how Ollie goes down today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with it oh. if it happens because I've been roll doing the random thing with these mounds. So it's does, does the mound get to do something special if he has an engulfed person on his yes. attack? If if he gets to eat me, a Constitution saving throw isn't made. Lulu's gonna tusk it. Nat twenty for Lulu. Woo! Oh yeah, she rolled a she one on like... the damage. That's two oh. two damage. Oh. Two damage. Go Lulu. There's no modifier on a tusk kit? No. What? What do you Lulu. think this is? Work on it, man. It's very small. She puts all of her stats into pleasantness. That's it. <laughs> Jerry. All right, I'm going to swing very carefully. 
So much so you're not going to be reckless? No, I'll be reckless, but I'm going to try to avoid uh, uh, Ollie. Jerry, but, uh, take 20, the role of 20, Jarvis for this 23? character death. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, 27 damage on the first swing. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, you kill it. Nice. Only it, uh, take 27 becomes minutes. a pile and and Jerry just like kind of blows the debris aside and like a yeah. like a leaf blower and, with uh, what I don't take that damage right Jay? he blows no, really don't. hard with his okay. lungs okay. good good you, you can't and, blow uh, as hard as a clears, leaf blower and clears <laughs> 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 we get you a new leaf blower he, he clears a few like small leaves just by blowing off of uh off of Ollie's face. You have and, like, to picks him up. You have to play the leaf blower race to get that racial ability. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this thing reminds me of. It's just like yard <laughs> waste. <laughs> That's pretty much except in this setting it's very bloody. Uh cool. So you got out of that encounter and we're just in time to end it. Uh do you guys pull Ollie out or just leaving him? Yeah, that's why I, I pull them out. Oh. That's what I was trying to do with the leaf blowing. <sighs> I start press digitating myself clean. And there's nothing inside. Nothing interesting inside them. I thought maybe there would be something interesting inside them. There's nothing interesting. Uh, inside. There's no True. like little Disgusting. gnomes controlling them. Well, well, nope. It's just gross. It's just more uh, gross. I thought maybe there'd be some nymphs or something. Nope. I took a dive. I mean, I, I wanted to check it out. I thought it would be worthwhile. It wasn't. That's cool, man. You you held your own in that. Fight, man, you did. You hit did me. Awesome. One of you hit me with another survival check to get uh, further into the brambles. I'll do it. Fifteen. Okay. So, uh, having been familiar with this maze, being in here so long, you start your make make your way around, and you feel like you're making your way into the center of this area and before you rounding a corner you see a cave-like hovel uh hundreds of bones and body parts hang by twine from the entrance and the ceiling is strung with garland made of bloody entrails the air buzzes with flies that's where we're gonna leave it lovely sick the oracle Maybe. Only hundreds of bones, not thousands. Pretty, pretty sparse for hell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Yeah, she keeps a clean garden. <laughs> yeah. That's all relative. Uh, perfect. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, we will Thank be you, Jake. back. I'm, I'm digging the great weapon master. No He's kidding. Dealing feels good, huh? <laughs> yeah. it feels good. I was hitting more than I thought I was going to. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like half misses, so. but I guess that makes sense with the reckless. Yep. 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 Cool, cool, uh, cool. Any, anything you guys want to plug? Stay inside. Stay in school, <laughs> stay inside. Don't go to school, stay inside. Cool. Perfect. Colleges uh, rip off anyway. I, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I genuinely yeah. agree. Yeah. Uh, I didn't go to college. A smart move. I went to some college, but only some. That's only partially a smart move, but still smarter than me. It's a wisdom saving throw. (laughs) I have been your Dungeon Master, Jake, and we'll be back next Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific here on Venture Ventures. Thank you so much for watching or listening wherever you are. Be excellent to others and be excellent to yourself. Stay physically distanced.